Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Measurements are everywhere. Take a look around you. You can measure items by their length, volume, or mass. You measure things with time and even money. Today, we're going to practice using measurements in some real-world math problems. So hold on and buckle your seatbelts. You ready? Let's do it. Latifa stopped by the market and ordered two bagels, an apple, and a juice. If she paid with a $10 bill, how much change did she receive? Well, first, let's look at what Latifa bought and how much money it'll cost. She bought two bagels, and each one cost $1.60. All right, so we need to add $1.60 plus $1.60. All right, she spent $3.20 on bagels. Next, she purchased an apple, which cost 78 cents. And $3.20 plus 78 cents is $3.98. Next, she bought a juice for $1.72. So, $3.98 plus $1.72 is equal to... $5.70. Since Latifa paid with a $10 bill, we need to subtract $5.70 from 10. And it looks like we're going to need to borrow. 10 becomes a 9, and that gives us 100 cents to subtract 70 from. And that leaves us with 30 cents. Now, moving on to the dollars. 9 minus 5 is 4. So Latifa will get $4.30 back in change. Yeah, summer jobs. What a great way to earn money. Chen is mowing yards and charges $8 an hour. Now let's see what each of the families owes him for his hard work. First, the Smiths. It took Chen two hours and 15 minutes to mow the yard. Each hour is $8. And this means we need to multiply 2 times 8, which gives us 16. And then 15 minutes is one fourth of an hour, and so one fourth of eight is two. So 16 plus two is 18. Chen earns $18 from mowing the Smith's yard. Next up is the Martinez's yard. Okay, it took Chen 30 minutes to mow their yard, and 30 minutes is half an hour. That means he will charge only half of his hourly rate, and half of eight is four. So Chen earns $4 from the Martinez's yard. And last is the Jeffersons. It took Chen one and a half hours to mow their yard. We know that one hour will earn $8. And so a half hour will get $4. And when we combine four and eight, we get 12. Chen will earn $12 from mowing the Jefferson's yard. Okay, check out this next problem. Mia was squeezing oranges to make juice for her breakfast. And the question is, did she make 500 milliliters or 50 liters of juice? Hmm. Let's think about the measurement of a liter. A liter is about the size of a sports bottle. And one liter is also the same amount as 1,000 milliliters. Now let's look at the options that we were given. 500 milliliters would be half of a sports bottle of juice. And 50 liters would be 50 sports bottles worth of juice. Mia's hands would be pretty tired after making that much juice, and I also wonder where she'd find that many oranges. Mia must have made 500 milliliters of juice for breakfast. Now, in this problem, Will is packing books. We know that each book is 50 grams. And these books go into boxes. A box is able to hold 0.6 kilograms. How many books can the box hold? Well, first we need to convert 0.6 kilograms to grams. And to do this, we're going to need to multiply by 1,000. This is the same as moving the decimal point over to the right three places. 0.6 kilograms is equal to 600 grams. Now let's see. If one book is 50 grams, that means that two books will be 100 grams. So six groups of 100 is going to equal 600. All right. Each of those groups we know has two books in it, so the box can hold 12 books. Perfect. Oh, we better stretch out before this next problem because 
I don't want to pull anything. Now, Eric is getting ready to try out for the track team. And in order for us to find out how far he ran in total during the week, we're going to need to look at the amount he ran each day. He ran 450 meters on Monday and 750 meters on Tuesday. He then ran one kilometer on Wednesday and one and a half kilometers on Thursday. Huh. So we have two different measurements. We've got meters and kilometers. Let's change our kilometers to meters by multiplying by 1,000. So on Wednesday, 1 multiplied by 1,000 is 1,000. He had 1,000 meters on Wednesday. And now we need to multiply by 1.5 times 1,000. Well, we know that 1 times 1,000 is 1,000. And we also know that half of 1,000 is 500. And that means 1.5 times 1,000 is 1,500. Whew! Now we can add up all of our meters. 450 plus 750 is 1,200. Plus 1,000 equals 2,200. And finally, we add in 1,500 to get a total of 3,700 meters. Wow, Eric ran a lot. And you did a lot of great work today with all those measurements. You were able to solve problems that used volume, distance, time, money, and even mass.